Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Today I want to talk about California and banning green tip ammo. Let's talk about what's going on. This video is sponsored by Fume. In my opinion, Fume is the best nicotine-free, all-natural way to kick the habit. Fume is a simple and elegantly designed, smoke-free, vapor-free, plant-flavored inhaler. The device itself is made of stainless steel and real wood, and the ergonomics are great because they really do mimic the products that you're trying to quit, so that you don't miss that you know, familiar sensation of having something between your fingers. Fume works in multiple ways. One, it gives you that sensation of inhaling flavors, satisfying that craving, plant flavors like crisp mint, white cranberry, and maple pepper. No joke, the flavors smell and taste incredible. You also get that noticeable drag, and the amount of airflow is adjustable by twisting the device so you can increase or decrease the drag. The way it works is you open the packet with what they call cores, pull the wood from the metal part of the fume, insert the core and close it. Stay shut with magnets. As a side note, this makes a great fidget device too. When you might be struggling with anxiety, this will get you through those tough times. So join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destruction by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com forward slash copper jacket or scan the QR code and use the code copper jacket to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. The link will also be down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. So as somebody who lived in California for about 42 years, I still have a lot of friends and family that live out there. And when they have questions that are Second Amendment related, they tend to send them my way because they know that I researched California and what they're doing to the Second Amendment pretty much every single day. Now, I got one question that was kind of curious. It was from somebody that I've known for just about my whole life. And they said, hey, I heard green tips are getting banned in the state of California. Is this true? And well, I myself hadn't heard anything about it, and you'd think I'd hear something about it since I'm on that every single day. So I decided to do a little bit of research. And during my research, I found a lot of people that were saying the same thing. I was reading blogs, I was reading posts, and there were people questioning whether or not green tips were not only going to be banned, but whether or not they're actually even still legal in the state of California. So again, I had to do more research on it to figure out exactly what was going on and why people are thinking and saying that, and this is what I discovered. Okay, so after doing my research and going back for years, I found out that a majority of what people are scared of and what people are talking about is pretty much just speculation and rumor, but it's also based in reality, and I'll have to explain that because this is a potential for California, especially the way they've been doing things lately. They're kind of running out of ideas, and this is something that not only has the federal government looked at before, but state governments have looked at as well. So my research took me back all the way to when the ATF was trying to reclassify green tips, uh, SS-109, M855, XM855, uh, all as armor-piercing ammunition. People were freaking out. We had a bunch of uh, senators and, and congressmen who were writing the ATF, trying to get them to stop that, and they were reclassifying it because the, the green tips were able to be used in AR pistols, which are just pistols, right? And so if you take a look at the definitions and what they could do, that would have been really, really bad. So again, a lot of it started back then. Now, the reason that it continues to this day and people are still worried that California is going to ban them or that they might not even be legal now is because of the definition of what armor piercing is in California. So if you didn't know, in California, armor piercing ammunition is already banned. Now, under the federal definition and the ATF zone definition, green tips are not considered armor piercing because of the composition of the projectile itself and the amount of the projectile that is hardened. So you're talking about a mild steel core, which only takes up about 20% of the projectile, though the other 80% is just gonna be lead, right? Under federal definitions, it does not qualify. Now, what's really at the heart of the matter here and why I tell people it's still available, you can still get it, you could still use it, own it, and possess it, it's all still legal, is the fact that this specific penal code is talking about handgun ammunition. We already talked about that, right? That's, that's what it has to be designed for, and then it has to meet all of their factoring criteria. The M855 was not designed for that. It wasn't designed for it, and therefore, it doesn't fall under that classification no matter what you put it in. You could use it for something else that it wasn't originally intended for. It doesn't change the classification of it. And so we're talking specifically about really something else altogether. So the likelihood of it being banned, while it still exists in California because they don't really care about rules, they don't care about the Constitution uh, at all, so that you can't, say, you can't say it's zero, right? There's still a possibility in California. I wouldn't put anything past them. But the likelihood is extremely low. 
And so while I still get questions to this day about whether or not I can get it and if it's still legal for me to have it and so forth, the answer to all of that is yes. This is all rumor and speculation that goes back a long time. And it seems like it picked up when the ATF tried to ban it and reclassify it. And it's kind of gone through peaks and valleys of conversation since. And you can still find blog posts and people talking about it to this day and people who are kind of new that are still confused by it because they have a misunderstanding of what it is on their own. Maybe they heard a, a news article, maybe they watched TV, maybe they heard something about what happened back then and they're wondering. The, the, the confusion still exists, which is really the main point of me making this video, is to try and clarify some of that confusion for people so that they understand that everything is still cool, everything is still okay. You know, smile, have a good time, things are, things are still fine. But that's why I made this video today is because I was absolutely stunned by how many people are still talking about it, okay? It, it doesn't fall under the federal classification. It doesn't fall under the state classification. You're fine, okay? So for everybody that, you know, I'm going to send this link to anybody in the future that sends this to me as long as nothing major federal changes. But I'm going to send this to this link to anybody uh, in the future that has this question, try and clarify things because, again, most of what everybody's asking me about or the things that I've seen people are writing is just based on that speculation. So again, I wanted to let you know that for anybody that was curious, thinking about it. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.